Hey Ella. Hi there, it's Sammy again. As with my last video, this video is really for reference purposes, to help you with pronunciation. In my last video, we took a look at the consonants of the Lindish alphabet. In Lindish, consonant is samatswechend, literally a together sounder. I suspect that in Anglo-Saxon this was meant to be a literal translation of the Latin word for consonant, consonance, which literally means sounding together. Today, we're going to take a look at the vowels. In Lindish, vowel is clippy end, which literally means voiced sound maker. In Lindish, there are eight basic vowels. Using accent marks above the letters, this increases to a total of 20. Don't be put off by that figure. Half of them are merely longer forms of the other half. Let's have a look at the basic vowels first. That is, the letters as written without any accents above them. An accent is any mark written above a vowel to indicate a change in sound. In Lindish, accent is called Akent, which is one of the few Latin words I allowed into Lindish. These are also called diacritical marks in modern English. In Lindish, a diacritical mark is called Toshertaken, literally a distinguishing mark. So the vowels without accents are A, Ash, a, e, o, erdl, u, and ur. As we go through, you'll see that nearly every one of these sounds has a short and a long form. So basically, almost every sound and letter comes in pairs. When you are spelling out a word, Vowels are named after their long sound. So, for example, you'll notice that R is the name of the letter A and not A. Similarly, A for the letter E and not E. So first, the letter A and its forms. R, R is stretched. A chring and a yabichid. The first pair are a and a yestretched. The simple letter a is pronounced like the short a in the German pronunciation of man or the American pronunciation of pot, pot. Ah. Say it out loud. Ah. Ah. Ah is the longer version. It's pronounced like the ah in father, or like in the American pronunciation of the word pawn. Pawn. Ah. Say it out loud. Ah. Ah. Ah ring is like the the letter O in the British pronunciation of pot, rock and sob. Ah. Say it out loud. Ah. Ah. Are you be heard? The OR sound is just the longer version and is pronounced like the OR in the British pronunciation of lawn, dawn, and the AU in court. OR. Say it out loud. OR. OR. Here are a few words containing these vowels MUN. Human being. Notice this doesn't mean man, 
the word for man in Anglo-Saxon is wer. Lactuca, lettuce. Ond, and. Lond, land. Horn, home. Horn, one. Now the letter ash and its forms. Ash and ash you stretched sounding as a and air unlike the other pairs the second is not quite simply a longer form of the first listen to them again carefully a air a air a is pronounced like the letter A in cat, bat, land, sand, and fan. A. Ah. Say it out loud. A. Ah. A. Ah. Ash you stretched, the air sound, is slightly different. It's pronounced like the AI in hair and lair, or the letter A in care. In sound, it's actually a long uh, eh sound, which we'll look at shortly. Air. Say it out loud. Air. Air. Here's a few words containing these two sounds. Lat late, blazer, blaze, axe, axe, redan, to read, dead, a deed or action, empty, empty. Notice there's no P sound between the M and the T. Even, evening. Now the letter E in its forms. A, A ye stretched, A ye beached, A empty. The letter E, when written on its own, with no accent mark, can be pronounced E or E, uh, depending on where in the word it appears. The schwa sound, which is the e uh sound, written as an e with a dot over on the top, uh, which in, in in Lindish it literally means empty e, is not normally written. I'll only use it when needed to help you as beginners. So uh, for the time being, if the letter e is pronounced as e, uh, I'll write the the dot over the E. For example, take the words spelliend and spellienda. They both come from the verb spellian to stand in for. Spelliend means a representative, but spellienda means standing in. In a stressed position, the letter E is written without uh, akent, the circumflex accent. In an unstressed position, the letter E is pronounced as a schwa, an empty E, the, the sound a. Uh. If you see a plain E or an uh, E circumflex, pronounce it like the E in pet or bet if it's in a stressed position. For the time being, if it's not obvious that the E should be a schwa sound, the e uh sound, I'll indicate it with a dot over the e, but the empty e or schwa would not normally be written. It's purely a reading and pronunciation aid. So once you get used to reading and writing Lindish, uh, there shouldn't be any need to uh, have the e with the dot above it.
the long e, the e with a macron above it, the a is stretched, is pronounced like the ai in pain, rain, and the a in tame. Here are some words with these letters. Is stretched, akent, kazera, kena, spade, settle. The following three pairs should not cause any problems, since the second of each pair is a long version of the first. E E is stretched O O is stretched O O is stretched The E is like the letter I in pin, king, win and pill. The E is stretched, the I with a macron on it, is like the double E in seen and been. The O is like the O in the British pronunciation of pot, rock and sob, and is exactly the same as the Achring, which is also pronounced O. Oh. The O is stretched, the O with the macron on it, is like the O in pole, tone and cold. The O is like the double O in look, took and book. The U you stretched is like the double O in cool, fool, and tool. Here are some words with these letters. In, which means inside, when, when it's actually physically inside something. Ring, ring. Mean, my. Veen, your. Over, above or upon, on, in or on, thorn, thorn. Be careful to pronounce this as thorn and not thorn. Pronounce it as if it were spelt thorn, but leave out the, uh, the schwa sound. Once again, that's Thorn and not thorn. Gourd, good. Torth, tooth. The last four are also short and long pairs, but the beginner will have to take care of how to read them. The letters are named after their runic names, Erdl and Ur. Uh, uh, u, u. So that's Erdel, Erdel is stretched, Ur, and Ur is stretched. The Erdel represents the schwa sound, the the uh, uh sound, the empty e which elsewhere is written as an E with a dot above it. The Erdl with a macron over it is the same sound but lengthened. It's like the U, the letter U in further or the letter I in birth. The letter Ur will be the most unfamiliar to beginners and it's the most difficult to describe. If you've learned German, then the easiest way to describe it uh, would be to say it's like an, a U umlaut. If you know French, then it's like the U sound in lu, read, su, known, and pu, could. If you don't speak French or German, I'll try to describe how to shape your mouth to pronounce it. Start by saying a long 
E sound. Without changing the shape of the inside of your mouth, bring your lips slowly forward to form an oo sound. Halfway to the full oo sound, you should be close to something like the u sound. So start with e and come round to an oo, but stop halfway. E, e, e. Here are some words with these letters. T, two, when it appears before an infinitive verbs. Verspade, failure. Aurochs, aurochs, a primitive form of cattle. Erman, early human. Umb, about. Uldor, old age. Uven, hyphen. Fur, fire. Utera, outer. Usha, a wish. For homework, practice saying all these words. As in the previous lesson, it's not important that you remember the meaning of the words at this stage, just that you get used to pronouncing them. Finally, here is what all 20 vowels and accents are called in Lindish. With the names of the accents, you can use the word akent after all of them, but it's not necessary. Ah, are you stretched? Ah, chring. Ah, you bichred. Ash. Ash you stretched. A. A you stretched. A you bichred. A empty. E. E you stretched. O. O you stretched. Erthel. Erthel you stretched. U. U you stretched. Ur. Ur you stretched. That's it for now. Practice saying the different vowel sounds aloud. In the next lesson, I'll teach you how to say the vowel diphthongs, and that will be the last reference lesson. That be there for now, or some after and teed, where's the hala? That's it for now. Until the next time, take care and be well.